Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at the most famous real analysis book in the entire world. This is by far the most popular book on measure theory ever written. Let's take a look inside this book. You'll notice that the title is not on the cover, at least not on my edition. So this is the book. It's Real and Complex Analysis by Walter Rudin. This is Papa Rudin. This is the Rudin book. So Baby Rudin is principle of mathematical analysis. That's the one for undergraduates, which talks about continuity, uniform convergence, etc. This is his book on measure theory, and this is definitely a graduate level book. Now, having said that, I did not use this book in grad school. I used the Fallen book. Nevertheless, I picked up this book as a reference for only $5, and it was totally worth it. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents. It starts off with the exponential function. We'll take a look at that because that's really, really interesting. Then it goes on to abstract integration, then positive Borel measures, and then LP spaces. Walter then goes on to talk about elementary Hilbert space theory, examples of Banach space techniques, complex measures, integration on product spaces, differentiation, Fourier transforms, really cool, elementary properties of holomorphic functions, harmonic functions. So this is something you might have already seen if you've had some complex analysis. Look, Cauchy-Riemann equations. So if you've studied complex analysis, some of this will be familiar. The maximum modulus principle, approximation by rational functions. And he just keeps going, conformal mapping, zeros of holomorphic functions, analytic continuation. That's always a really difficult topic. HP spaces. Elementary theory of Banach algebras, holomorphic Fourier transforms, and he finishes with uniform approximation by polynomials. And there's an appendix on Hausdorff's maximality theorem. Good old Felix. Let's take a look uh, further inside this book. So when you first open this book and you read the prologue, it's just it's just so cool. So the exponential function. This is undoubtedly the most important function in mathematics. It is defined for every complex number z by the formula and then gives you the power series representation of the exponential function. This is the Maclaurin series and it converges absolutely for every complex number z and uniformly on every bounded subset of the complex plane. Thus, the exponential function is continuous. The absolute convergence of this series show that the computation, and they give you a little computation here, then it tells you it gives the important addition formula. So, I mean, just right away, uh, you have to know some serious math to understand this. This is definitely graduate level mathematics. I mean, if you're reading this and you don't know a lot of math, you're probably wondering, okay, what's a complex number? Okay, that's not too bad. And then EXP of Z, that's just E to the Z. Then they give you an infinite series. Then he talks about absolute convergence. So you have to know what that is. Then they talk about uniform convergence. Then you have to know what a bounded subset is. So it definitely does require some background. Um, so yeah, so if you're if you're just learning math, this book is like a an eye opener. It's like wow, like this this is this is a math book. This is the section on elementary Hilbert space theory, and honestly, this book actually reads quite well. Um, I actually like this book better than Baby Rudin. I think the readability is just a little bit better. Um, sure, it's a much harder subject, but I think uh, Rudin does a better job with this book than he does with the Principles book. Um, the Principles book, Baby Rudin, is more popular than this book, and I think that's because more people uh, take you know advanced calculus, aka undergraduate real analysis, than people who take. Uh, measure theory, because there's more people who are undergrads than people who are grads. But this is actually a much better book, and it's written in a much better fashion. One of the biggest downsides of this book is that it doesn't have solutions to the exercises, but that's almost expected at this level. I mean, this is a measure theory book, so uh, finding one with solutions uh, that are decent is uh, quite tough. 
So it's just kind of an expected thing. On the bright side, um, the readability of this book kind of makes up for it. It's a good measure theory book. If you're using a different measure theory book for your course or you want to learn measure theory, then it's definitely worth picking up this book. Again, I mainly bought this book as a supplement. Uh, I was using the book written by Folland when I took measure theory, and that is that is a very, very tough class. This is a very tough subject, so um, I honestly think you should get as many books as possible on any subject when you're trying to learn something, especially something as difficult uh, as measure theory. And this book, well, it's, you know, it's the most famous one, so it's definitely a must-have. Again, the book is Elementary, Real, and Complex Analysis by Walter Rudin. This is called Papa Rudin. Uh, it's a famous book on real analysis, probably the most famous book in the entire world on measure theory. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you really want to help out, consider becoming a member of the channel. Until next time, take care.